Now, the characteristics of the mid-latitude cyclone is very, very important. You know that this diagram that I'm going to show you now, that I'm going to discuss with you now, it's so, so very, very important because most of the questions based on mid-latitude cyclones, the answers come actually from this diagram because here you've got all the characteristics and all you've got to do in a, in a, in a, in a question, exam question, paper uh, question, uh, you've just got to put all these character characteristics together and you'll see how easy your mid-latitude cyclone actually becomes. Okay, let's have a look at the characteristics. The first thing that you must know is this is the isobars, these lines here. The second thing that you must know, a low pressure. A low pressure at the mid-latitude cyclone. Now the characteristics, characteristics, this is our cold front and that is a warm front. Have a look at the symbol here. Please, people, don't get mixed up with the symbols of the cold and the warm front. You must know where's the cold front, where's the warm front. You must also know the clockwise wind circulation. Now, I just want you to, to have a look at this clockwise wind circulation. Remember that this uh, uh, mid-latitude cyclone that I'm dealing with now is in the southern hemisphere, right? So we've got this clockwise wind circulation. In fact, all low pressure systems have this clockwise uh, wind circulation in the in the uh, 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 southern hemisphere. Okay, so so that is your clockwise wind circulation. Let's go further. This would be the warm sector that we've got here, and here we've got the cold sector. Now, let us have a look at all this, uh, uh, the warm front and the cold front again. Remember what we said. When we opened this, this broadcast, we had a look at the cold front and the warm front. Have a look at this. Here we've got our cold front, here we've got the warm front. How do I know this is a cold front? If you remember, you, we said that behind the cold front, we usually have our cold air. Can you see this blue here? Behind the cold front. In the front, we've got the warm air. So this is the reason why this is a cold front, because we've got cold air behind the front. You see how these things come back again to that first di uh, diagram that we've, uh, that we've had. Have a look at the warm front here. Here we've got the warm front. Cold air here on f in front. Warm behind. Look at this. Warm front, warm air behind, moving towards the cold air. So please, uh, Matrix, don't get mixed up. When you have a look at this, what you should do actually is to take this diagram and draw it over and over and over until you really understand and get uh, uh, these labels, uh, to know these labels for, uh, with regard to the mid-latitude cyclone.